Normally I go for cameras that play well with third party softwares like Blue Iris, for example, because that's the primary thing that I run within my own residence. But in today's video, I wanna talk about kind of one of those easy to use turnkey solutions that doesn't require an expensive or custom made Windows server just running in the background all the time. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. And like I said, in today's video, I wanna talk about something that's easier than Blue Iris, easier than running your own server, just easier on every single front. And that is an all-in-one camera system. Even though, I gotta be completely honest here, I really just don't like it. And I know that kind of sets a tone for the rest of this video, but I do have a few really good reasons as to why I think this only has a very few select use cases, but for the price, it's hard to justify those use cases. So this is the ARFA, a two wireless camera standalone system that allows you to wirelessly monitor just about anywhere in your house within roughly 300 feet of this little box right here. This is a Wi-Fi repeater, so you don't need to purchase anything else. Obviously, you have to have your own internet and all that. And all you have to do is plug in an SD card, plug in a power supply, and plug in an ethernet cable. Super easy to use. And then it comes with two of these cameras. Now, these are wireless cameras. They do have the option to charge from the bottom. They run off a battery. They say up to five months worth of battery charge. And pretty much, I mean, you just plug it in, USB in the bottom, whenever you need to charge it again. Which I haven't tested this, but if you had one of those little miniature solar panel things, you could easily hook this up probably to a solar panel, assuming you get everything weather sealed, use it outside and at least keep it topped off all the time. Now these cameras do run at 1080p resolution and they have a 130 degree wide angle lens. They have a microphone built into them and a speaker, meaning that they do give you the ability to have a two way communication with anybody you want to through this camera possible and uh well i had the sen sensitivity set up to the highest possible setting and uh this is what it sounds like so you can do a two-way talk with this camera uh it actually sounds fairly decent when you do a two-way but they also come with automatic night vision with infrared lights on the front and as far as weatherproof rating goes they are ip65 so for the most part they're pretty much weatherproof Moving on to this little box, like I said, this is just a Wi-Fi repeater and it can handle up to 128 gigs worth of a micro SD card. The unit itself ships with a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. Neat. The only problem I have with that, and this is, I don't know if this is unique to me or not, but it'll store footage on this and I can view it on my phone through the phone app and I can download it through my phone through, I have to download it through the app and then import it from the app to my camera roll and then from my camera roll, uh, move it over to my computer. For some reason, I put this micro SD card in any computer and I cannot see the files. In fact, even though this says it takes three gigs worth of space, so far with my test footage, the entire SD card shows as being empty on my computer. That is a mystery I have no idea. I, I don't know what to do with that. Now that's just one of those like really small annoying things for me. I'm sure there's probably some solution. I put, you know, little to no effort of figuring out how to correct that because my overall excitement from this camera system is fairly low. So what really gets me with this entire camera system is literally the cameras. And because these are wireless, they run off batteries, they definitely go the extra mile to try to conserve as much battery power as possible but I think that really kind of works against the entire camera system itself. So on the front here of this camera, you have a very, I want to say retro old style uh, motion detection system. And when you use this camera system, you get in front of it, it starts blinking a green light. Then you hear a few clicks internally, then it starts showing the red light. So as a battery saving function, the camera and everything is shut down and then this activates and gets everything turned on, which is all fine and well, I guess. But the problem that I have with that is that it takes a little bit to activate. So in some of the example footages that I caught, I could literally sneak up on the camera and, and be within five feet of the thing, walking from the back of my yard and it doesn't show up and actually trigger and start recording until I'm basically in the camera's face. Oh, 
really. I made it all the way up here before this thing went off. This is the highest setting. This thing kind of sucks. I did multiple tests walking by the camera, faster, slower. Sometimes I could walk by the camera at a hasty pace, let's just say that, not walking, not running, just haste. And the camera did not pick me up because I came and gone way too fast. And this system has three different sensitivity levels, low, medium, and high. I set the sensitivity level too high for these tests. Low is even worse. I set, just for an example, I put it in the kitchen and I set it to low because I didn't want alerts going off all the time because it does have the option to connect to an app and to you know send you alerts to your phone. And I could literally walk through my living room and this thing would never pick me up. And I'd be within five to six feet of it. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it had to do with the positioning because it was pointing out towards the window that was open that had sunlight, so maybe the sunlight threw some of that off, even though it wasn't directly on the camera, I really have no idea. But what I do know is that this thing does not activate fast enough to be able to catch the action, as it were, and sometimes it just does not activate at all. But it does have good battery life, and for the most part, it will activate, probably. It will catch stuff, maybe. So I could see a special use case where maybe you're monitoring something where something moves and it's okay if it's five seconds late to the game to start recording. Maybe those five seconds don't matter, you know? But another thing that I have with this is that according to Amazon, this is about $200. You can check out links in the description down below if you are curious on the updated pricing, but it's right around $200. It has no special features in my mind that justifies a cost of $200, aside from it being wireless and having batteries. You have no option to set zones. You have no options for any kind of AI integration to determine whether or not whatever is triggering is a human being, an animal, or a vehicle. In this day and age where cameras are more and more sophisticated and people absolutely crave educated notifications on their phones, having a camera that's just gonna go off every time it senses anything moving and not give you any preview, th preview thumbnail or anything like that makes you just get to that point where whenever your camera alert goes off, you start ignoring it. In smarter camera systems that actually detect a human being or an animal or a car, depending on how you have that set up, let's say in your driveway and you wanna know in zone A, if a car shows up, send me an alert to my phone. And if you get that on your phone, then you know in your driveway is a vehicle and that could potentially be something you absolutely want to pay attention to. You know if you have a camera set up in your house to detect a human and send you an alert, you get that alert, you know you're gonna wanna see who the heck is in your house. I'm not saying systems like that are absolutely flawless. However, it does not numb you from the notifications, potentially putting whatever you're trying to keep secure at risk because you are ignoring notifications. So let's wrap all that into a bundle. We got a $200 standalone system that only includes two cameras, not bad. You can expand on it if you want to, but it comes with two cameras. The batteries themselves can last up to five months. I assume that would be with very minimal recording and broadcasting and stuff like that, but up to five months. You don't have to buy anything extra. You just plug this into your router and, and that's it. You have a Wi-Fi access point, good to go. They give you fairly decent 1080p recordings and for the most part, the notifications work. Just not very well, activation's pretty slow, and the features in the app are severely lacking. And it's not just the app, it's really the hardware included that the app uses. This system would have to be able to take an image, analyze it, and tell whether or not it's a car, vehicle, animal, or whatever, and then decide to send you a notification quickly enough. So it's a hardware limitation. And with all that said, all that bundled together, for a price point of $200, personally, I just don't think it's worth it. Now, if it was like 
maybe a hundred bucks and you wanted a very simple system hooked up in very simple areas and you wanted some very simple alerts just to have cameras active that you could access anytime, anywhere that you have internet connection and just see what's going on, then I could see something like that. Maybe a hundred, 20, $130, somewhere around that range. Because it is a basic system, gives you basic features, and if you only want to use it in the most basic form, these could serve a good purpose. But if you want to put them anywhere where you will not get numb to false alerts, this is definitely not the system for you. So Arfa did send this over to me for free for a review, but of course that does not affect my review in any way possible. If you guys wanna check out more about this system, you can check out the links in the description down below. As always, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and have yourself a great day. I bit my tongue, right? And I said, hey, Really? I made it all the way up here before this thing went off? This is the highest setting. <sighs> this thing kind of sucks.